What's going on guys and welcome back to another sports card collection video. Today I'm going to be doing the second part of the 8,000 card collection that I just recently acquired. But before that, I want to show you some progress that I made here in my collection room. For anybody who's been watching the channel for a few weeks, a few months, you know that this room was completely filled with three collections a collection of 150,000 cards a collection of 200,000 cards and a collection of 1 million cards not all of the 1 million cards were here but the 150 and the two fit the two were here so what i did was because this collection here was taking me so much time to go through because of how it was uh stored what i did was all of these were in bins and to kind of consolidate it and put it, you know, in a much uh, easier way for me to go through and to create some more space. As you can see, I've created a ton of space in here. Uh, this used to be not walkable, but uh, this little pile is here, something that I'm going through. Uh, what I did was, is I put them into these bins. So there is six bins full. And when I say full, they are full. Uh, I'll open one up right now for you guys so you can see how full it is, but these are super heavy. They're really hard for me to lift. Um, what I'm going to do is, since these ones take me time to go through, I'm going to bring five of them to my storage unit, keep five of them there, keep one of them here, and then go through that one and then, you know, as I finish that one, then bring the next one because these bins... Uh, these are great and I have millions of them now, but uh, these bins, they just take up a lot of space. Uh, they don't hold as many cards and uh, yeah, they're just really hard to stack They're You know, after you stack a couple of them, they're tipping over. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I wanted to share with you guys my progress. I'm slowly uh, getting things together in here. I don't know if you guys ever pay attention to the to the backdrop here of my my wrestling uh, figure and memorabilia collection, but uh, that's also changed a little bit. Uh, I took a lot of what was on the walls over here off. Um, then I did it library style. So uh, that's something different. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, so I'm slowly making progress, and I feel like it's probably going to take me a couple of more weeks to get it to where I want it to be. But uh, you guys are along for the journey, so I'm excited to uh, to share with you. All right, let me crack one of these open. All right, here we go. And I told you they were full, right? I wasn't kidding. Uh, there are six of them. So two, four, six. So, um, and they are as full as this one, if not even more full. And this goes all the way down. So you can imagine how many cards there is tens of thousands of cards in there. Um, so they're all in these, uh, some of them are in cut out binder pages. Uh, so it makes it a little bit harder for me to go through. Uh, some are in, uh, just regular sleeves but they're packed up in there so it just takes more time so it's smarter for me to just keep one of these here take the five to the storage unit and then slowly make my way through them so i wanted to show you guys that now i'll show you some cards that i found here's a couple of piles of some of the cooler stuff i found uh on top of one of these really dirty boxes of the million card collection um so this is from the eight thousand card collection that i did my previous video on uh, that found the Babe Ruth card. So um, first here we have some Manny Ramirez rookie cards. So these are all Manny Ramirez rookies, every single one of them. Top one here. Uh, this one was my favorite. It's a top stadium club. Very nice. Don't really get to see this one that often, but uh, have like every single Manny M Ramirez rookie card you can think of. All different variations from different sets so 
if you're a Manny Ramirez fan, we have tons and tons of cards. Every different version. And I have similar, you know, with Jeter and Alex Rodriguez. I have like almost every single version of their their rookie cards because they have so many different rookies pre pre rookie cards. But uh some match doubles in there. But as you can see, a huge Manny Ramirez collection. I thought was pretty cool. Then over here, I found these. These are in really great condition. Condition. Here's uh, some Willie Randolph cards. And these are 1980 tops. Got five of them here. I thought those were pretty cool because they're in such good condition. And, you know, these kinds of cards are really hard to find in good condition. Uh, then over here, this one was really cool. I haven't looked anything up on it yet. But um, it's a Planet Metal uh 1999 metal universe nomar garcia para uh i don't know too much about it but i thought it was really cool because it's die cut and uh it's a metal universe card which are some of my favorites so i don't have this one and i've never seen it before so uh yeah i thought that was pretty cool and I already have one of these, but a Serena Williams rookie card. And these, over the past year, um, have done pretty good. Like, they're they're definitely raising in value. Uh, so, to be able to find another one is uh, pretty cool. All right. So, let me show you a little bit more of what I found in the 8,000 card collection. All right. Here's a couple of piles of cards to showcase. Uh, kicking it off right here with some older basketball. There's a Yogi Berra Top Stars, some vintage baseball. I know we have a lot of vintage fans. There's a nice uh, Charles Barkley right there, Top Stadium Club. Very nice. Some more older basketball cards. There's a Matt Leinart rookie. Here's uh, some WWE cards, Seth Rollins. There's a Gary Payton StarQuest, Kevin Garnett. Stefan Marbury, Star Quest, John Elway. I thought this was really cool because you could see through there. There's a Steve Young and Penny Hardaway. There's another Steve Young looking in his Tampa jersey. There's a finest Bruce Smith, a Magic Johnson, some older baseball. There's a Billy Martin. There's a Walter Payton, David Robinson. A Joey Votto rookie card, Bo Jackson, Superman David Robinson. There is a Yamir Yager. Very nice. Don't get to find those cards too often. There's another Penny Hardaway. There's a Kevin Garnett. Funny cards. There is a Sparky Lyle. Ty Hilton rookie. There's a Sean Kemp, Frequent Flyers, Top Stadium Club. Von Bell Press Proof Rookie. It's a Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron. Ricky Henderson. Kellen Winslow. Tracy McGrady MVP. Jimmy Garoppolo, who has a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Nick Foles rookie. Sammy Watkins rookie. There's a Plexico Burris rookie. There's another. There's a Roman Reigns. Right here we have uh, Pujols, Andrew Jones, Chipper Jones, and another vintage. So there's a nice little pile. And move on over here. We have a Tim Duncan, rookie. And a nice Michael Jordan, Flair 92, 93. And over here for my Junk Wax fans... Um, all of these are in mint condition and that's, that's tough for me to say because junk wax is really hard to keep in mint condition, but these are all in mint condition. Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson, Griffey and Bonds, which this card goes for pretty good money. Griffey, Nolan Ryan, Greg Vaughn rookie, Todd Zeal rookie, Steve Avery, 
another Vaughn, another Zeal, Avery, Mark McGuire rookie, Matt Williams, David Cohn, Rafael Palmero, with a Greg Maddox, Fred McGriff rookie, Bo Jackson, Sandy Alomar, John Olerud, Mike Stanton, David Justice, Robin Ventura. There's one of the Hank Aaron puzzle cards. thought those were pretty cool. Uh, Sandy Alomar, Olerud, Stanton, Justice, Ventura. So a lot of uh, doubles of these cards. I might send some of these off to get graded because just because of the uh, the condition, they're, they're in mint condition. And it's hard for me to say. Galarraga, there's Bonds, Canseco, Bobby Bonilla, Will Clark, Bo Jackson, Ruben Sierra, another Hank Aaron, Sandy Alomar, Olerud, and we're going into some of the same ones here. Matt Williams, David Justice, Palmero, Maddox, Jackson, McGriff. There's another Bonds, Canseco, another Bo Jackson. So yes, uh, a lot of junk wax stuff here, but a lot of rookies and in great condition. Absolutely great. Like usually the, the, the corners are dull, but... Uh, these are, these are really great. Really, really great. All right. So uh, now let's cut into some of the bigger cards I found in this 8,000 card collection. To wrap it up, uh, it's going to be good. All right. Here we go. The final showcase. Starting it off with a Chipper Jones rookie. Right here we have two Magic versus Jordan. Right here we have a couple of Josh Allens from Premier Draft. The hit cards, all rookies. Josh Allen had an amazing year. I know that's the lower end stuff, but still really cool to find Josh Allen. Here is a Panini Contenders 2015 patch rookie of Jameis Winston. Very nice. Underneath there we have a Mike Evans Catalyst from Spectra out of 199. Very beautiful card. Right here we have Plaxico Burris. Gemin 10. All right, now let's cut to the rest. All right, and here are the final cards. Here is a Wayne Gretzky. Players Club. My favorite player of all time, Kobe Bryant. Upper Deck. Here is a nice Tom Brady Playmakers 2002. Very nice card. Here is a Kobe Bryant rookie card. And usually I would showcase this last, but I've showcased uh, Kobe rookie uh, as the last card many times before. Uh, so I figured this time I will showcase him next to last. And I will showcase last Mr. Drew Brees rookie card. Very nice. Super excited about this because he is now retired. So, uh, very awesome to be able to find a Drew Brees. And I do not have a Drew Brees rookie card. There was kind of like uh, some hints of a previous collection that I bought a couple of months ago that I thought might have a Drew Brees rookie card. Not this one, but a different um, version of Drew Brees rookie card. Uh, and I thought it might be in there, and I did not find it. So a little bit disappointed. So be able to find this one uh, is very exciting because I do not have one. 
So there you go, guys. This is the end of the 8,000 card collection. I feel like it was an amazing buy. And it really shows that the size of the collection is not always the most important thing because you can buy a huge collection and find some really great stuff. And then sometimes you can buy smaller collections like 8,000 cards and find really amazing cards like these. So, um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. More 1 million card collection updates coming soon as I dig through all of this stuff. Um, make sure you smash the like button. It really helps the channel. It really helps the video. Let's new people be able to see the content. And make sure you leave a comment below. I really love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching again. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.